Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Bootlicker shells, death slay, surfs, peasants, vassals. Oil man. I'm a useful idiot. And uh, today I have a, just a little quick story because I, I think it's funnier than hell. And it's about the Trans Canada Keystone XL pipeline. And I know there's a lot of bigger controversy and bigger issues revolving around the uh, whole Keystone XL pipeline. And I've talked a little bit about it in other videos and uh, we'll address it at some point. But uh, the story that came out that I find uh, interesting and amusing is the fact that uh, they, they claimed, TransCanada, the company that's building the Keystone XL pipeline, claimed that it, it will be a huge boom to the U.S. economy, eventually creating 500,000 permanent new jobs. And uh, more importantly, Obama has boasted about the huge boom to the U.S. economy that the Keystone XL pipeline will be. And uh, the study that the TransCanada company commissioned came up with the numbers of 118,935 non-permanent jobs for the one to two years of construction and manufacturing. All right, that sounds reasonable. Then the second part of the study said that there will be 553,235 permanent jobs due to the increased U.S. oil supply, unquote. And this is the number that uh, Obama has used, that 500,000 jobs. And uh, all the propaganda talks about 500,000 jobs. And it's that kind of propaganda that they use uh, to influence public opinion, to influence lawmakers, um, to influence all the states who want a um, piece of the action. Um, but here's, here's where it gets interesting. First of all, what does that even mean? The second part of that commission study, 553,235 permanent jobs due to the increased U.S. oil supply. What does that even mean? Uh, how would there be a half a million jobs created because there's increased U.S. oil supply. The infrastructure to deal with the uh, oil is all set up and uh, there really isn't any new factors to be considered. There's no other facilities. It's a pipeline. So what, how could you arrive at a number like that? Well, as it turns out, guess what? This last week, the U.S. State Department did their own study and they found out that uh, during those one to two years of construction and manufacturing, only 42,100 jobs would be created, as opposed to the 118,000 that the TransCanada study came up with. All right, that's interesting enough. So it's actually only going to be creating 42,000 construction and manufacturing jobs, and that's stretching across all the states that it runs through. So not that many jobs per state. But it gets better because the bottom line, the bottom line here, eventually once the pipeline is built, there won't be 553,235 jobs like Obama and TransCanada says, there will be 35 jobs. That's right, you heard me right. 35 jobs, not a half a million jobs. There's going to be 35 permanent jobs in order to perform maintenance and inspections along the entire length of the pipeline. So uh, I'd say these job claims about the pipeline are a pipe dream. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.